exclusive details of the consecration uh, ceremony and uh, the first darshan that will be opened for seven people. Seven people will be the ones that will be praying. That includes from the SC, ST and the OBC communities. There will be around uh, 4,000 to 500 chairs that have been placed. And this is the sitting arrangement that we'll also talk about where uh, prominent seers and saints and uh, prominent personalities who have been invited. And there are special mandaps that have also been set up where these uh, sadhu sons will be placed. So we're looking at uh, the dwars and of course the first pictures of uh, the massive dwars and the magnificent dwars that has also been shared. Uh, this is the inside details and the details that also talk about the consecration ceremony, what's going to happen at what time and the first darshan. When the dwar will open of Ram Lalla, there will be at least seven people who will get the first darshan the first appearance of Ram Lalla and that uh, sanctum sanctorum, this would be the main highlight, the historic moment when we are told that uh, people coming from different backgrounds and communities that includes the SC, the ST, the OBC is the entire essence of what Bharat is all about, of what India is all about. And we also talk about the seating, the placement that has also been done. We are told around 4,000 to 500 uh, seats that have been placed. And uh, this is also coming at a time when several invitations that have also gone across to prominent personalities. The sadhu sons, we are told, would be seated in mandaps. And that is so far, as far as the inside details, the murti cars who have been also working, the details that are also coming in, and the sitting placement. Uh, the prominent saints who are likely to be seated in mandaps, three of them in a row, which includes Nitya Rang and Sabha Mandap that actually leads to the Sanctum Sanctorum. So two of those Mandaps are on either side flanking three Mandaps as well, which is uh, the Prathna and the Kirtan Mandap. And soon after the consecration ceremony, we are told that the first Darshan that will be opened up for a group of seven people coming from different backgrounds that includes the SCs, the ST, the OBCs, and from a community that came in to first aid Bhagwan Ram during his vanvas, during his exile. The message that clearly goes across is Ram Rajya, that means equality for all, equality for everyone, everyone is equal and that is exactly the essence of Ram Bhakti, of Ram Rajya. And let me straight away go across to Pragya now getting us those inside details because the very essence of Ram Rajya Pragya, the message that will go across especially to those seven people, the chosen one who will get the first darshan of Ram Lalla. Absolutely, while this all is all devoid of the political bickering that is going on right now where, the, where people like uh, uh, Mr. Avad says that we are, uh, Ram is of Bahujans as well, uh, the trust and also the members uh, included, uh, those are in the planning phase and the deliberations going on, what is to happen on consecration ceremony, they have, they are, uh, they're, you know, deliberating and the decision has been reached that at least a group of seven peoples coming from all walks of life especially those communities that were aided by Lord Ram when he was he was uh, uh, roaming in the country uh, uh, during his exile and everyone came to his aid and also to showcase what Ram Raj is all about that every every caste every community is equal in uh, in Ram Raj and this is the aspirational India that Prime Minister also is talking about while participating in this consecration ceremony this is exactly the the feeling that is uh, going on while the team is deciding on who these seven people are. These will be on on all walks of life, but very common people uh, uh, coming from the community like Nishad Raj uh, uh, also helped uh, Lord Ram. So uh, one from his community. So they have uh, they ha they are choosing right now those seven people. These uh, the number could go up to eleven. We have been told. Okay. Uh, but at least uh, what ha what will happen is when the consecration ceremony will be over, the first darshan will be open revealed here exactly who will be the seven people who will actually get uh, to get the darshan of Ram Lalla first but Pragya please to stay on with us more information coming in and this talks about uh, the list of those who have been invited of course Prime Minister Narendra Modi and uh, the RSS chief uh, would be addressing right from the plaza we are told that Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath and uh, the UP Governor Anandi Ben Patel will also be present Pragya more on that as far as the list of invitees are concerned. 
So I'll tell you what the sitting arrangement is. When they, where there is Parkota, the outer protective wall, and there are stairs of the temple, there will be 4,000 to 5,000 chairs for all the invitees. Then there are 32 staircase leading up to a place called, they are calling it plaza. It's a place uh, from stairs to these mandaps that have been built leading up to Sanctum, Sanctum Sanctorum. So this uh, this plaza place, uh, Prime Minister and Mohan Bhagwat will address everyone from there. Uh, they were, will, uh, they will be accompanied by UPCM Mr. Yogi Adityanath and also Governor Uttar Pradesh Anandi Ben Patel. This is exactly where the message from what uh, uh, message from the Prime Minister and also from Mohan Bhagwat about uh, the importance and significance of Ram Temple after a wait of 400 plus years, almost approximately 500 years has come and what this mean for uh, future of Bharat, what does this mean for Bharat and how long the struggle had been. So mm -hmm. all the message will go out from the Prime Minister and from RSS Chief Mohan Bhagwat from these uh, this plaza place. And uh, following this, there are three mandaps. One is Nritri, one is Rang and one is Sabha Mandap. And on either side, there are two more Mandaps. One is Prathna Mandal and one is Kirtan Mandal. So chairs will be also lined up for... Uh, this is under also deliberation right now, but uh, during, in the final stages as well. But all the prominent saints... Uh, may be seated in these mandaps, whether they will be allowed or not is a decision yet to be taken at the highest level. But mm. for now, the deliberation uh, at the deliberation stage, they say that we can have 500 chairs and most prominent saints could can uh, be seated there uh, and after those seven people will do the first darshan, then the darshan will be open to all these priests and saints of recognition. So this is the consecration ceremony timeline for the viewers of Times Now right now. Right, and uh, is it from that same plaza which would be uh, placed right in front of those magnificent dwars that the trust has also recently released the pictures of, Pragya? Absolutely, and it is a significance. When there is, uh, at the lowest level is elephant, which is considered shub, also uh, an equivalent of Lord Ganesha. Then there is seen, because Lord Ram comes from Ikshwaku Vansh, and also it has it is seen as a combination of Shakti and Bhakti. And then there is Garud. Garud uh, symbolizes Moksha. So these three statues have been lined up on Sihdwar, which is the main entrance of the temple. Every, each and every uh, idol that has been placed has a significance right. based on Ramayan. So well, that taken... significance and the importance in something that Pragya is explaining to us in detail, this is the information that is for now coming across exactly where would be uh, the, what would be the placements and the sitting arrangements of all of the sub sons and those lucky seven people who will be getting the first darshan of Ram Lala.